Hello friends, in today's class, we are going to take a deep dive into the resistivity and conductivity of a material which is the extension of resistance and conductance. <music> Let's assume a conductor which is having cross sectional area A and length L as shown here. Let rho be its resistivity. Now this conductor can be equivalent to a resistance which we of course denote with this symbol. We are going to derive how this relation comes into picture. Now, resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor. This is the first fact that we know. As the length of the conductor increases, of course, the resistance to my current is also going to increase. So, my first equation is R is directly proportional to L as first equation. Secondly, resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross section of the conductor. Wider is the area of cross section, of course it will be easier for my current to flow. So I can say resistance is inversely proportional to area. This makes my second equation. Now by combining these two equations, I can say that R is proportional to L upon A which means R is equals to rho into L by A. This rho is nothing but as constant of proportionality which is called as resistivity. We all know that conductivity is nothing but as reciprocal of resistivity. So we can say that if my resistivity rho is nothing but as R into A by L, my conductivity is going to be L upon R A. This is for resistivity, this is for conductivity. Now, the only thing is that for resistivity, I use a symbol rho and for conductivity, I use a symbol sigma and rho into sigma is always equal to 1. Let's talk about the SI unit. For SI unit of resistivity, I'll use the SI unit of R that's ohm into meter square for area and meter for length and gets cancelled with 1 m above and therefore the unit becomes rho into m. Similarly here, it's nothing but as m upon ohm into meter square, it gets cancelled, so it becomes 1 upon ohm meter, which is nothing but as ohm meter, the whole inverse. Do note, it is also known as Siemens. Let's see the temperature dependence of resistance. We know that resistance is directly proportional to the change in the temperature. How? Well, we have an equation RT is nothing but as R0 into 1 plus alpha delta T. RT is the resistance at particular temperature T. R0 is the resistance at temperature 0 or any given temperature. And alpha is the temperature coefficient of the resistance. And delta T is nothing but as the difference between the temperature from 0 to T. Now we can rewrite this equation by expanding the bracket as RT is nothing but as R0 plus R0 alpha delta T. We'll take R0 that side. So it becomes RT minus R0 is equals to R0 alpha delta T. RT minus R0 is nothing but as difference in the resistance. Always make note that as temperature increases, resistance increases. So if this is my graph, this is the temperature axis, this is the resistance axis, this is how my nature of the graph will look like. This offset is nothing but as R0. Well, this is the same graph as y equals mx plus c. So if I want to draw, plot a graph of RT versus temperature, this is how my relation is going to appear like. Thank you.